Om Shri Ganesha Namo Nama. Greetings to everyone, world over, all our brothers and sisters across the globe, wherever you are. It's a wonderful green morning in Canada, where from we are having Mr. Vikas Malhotra, the tourism strategist from Canada. We are also having with us all the way in the morning, Professor Vivek Shankar Natarajan, USA, Lamar University, Texas, next to the NASA. And like every Sunday, ladies and gentlemen, today also our non-resident Indian brothers, they're going to talk about tourism, hospitality, aviation, education, service industry, technology, artificial intelligence, what all is coming in the life. And when I see this beautiful aura and aroma and this scenario right in front of me, it's something scintillating Canada, which is calling all of us. And we can feel it, we can see it, we can enjoy it. ICSI extends you a very warm welcome. And uh, we wish to share with our global family that ICSI has got now Digital Inspirational Lab registered, trademark, patent, and this is for making education and skills relevant. And you would also be very happy to know that we are soon starting our service industry journal, which will go international. It will be an e-journal, a lot of papers we would be inviting and we would be bringing lots of people, experts of tourism, hospitality, airlines, and service industry. And there's a body called FEAST, Forum of Educators and Skill Providers for Tourism, having been set up in 2001. This is the opening page of icsiindia.in. If you'll go to the website, you'll be able to see the very first column right on the top, 22nd International Annual Convention of Feast, Forum of Educators and Scholars of Tourism. Here it is, with the vision of one of my mentors, Shibike Goswamiji, who is from 1960 batch, IS officer who was DG Tourism, then he became Secretary Tourism, a great legend, living legend, who gave me so much of patronage and I learned so much from him in 2001. Can you imagine 22 years back, he told me, Gulshan, there is a travel and tourism association, tour operators association, adventure tour operators association, domestic tour operators association, hoteliers association. Why not you should have educators and skill providers for tourism association? So ladies and gentlemen, FEAST got the birth in 2001 for policy, research, academic skills, technology training, and industry. And we extend a very warm welcome to all our brothers and sisters across the globe. It's going to be a hybrid model. Some of them, they will be on the ground. Others can join us on digital mode. And from the world over, we want to get all the experts together. And the theme is very, very, very captivating artificial intelligence in tourism, hospitality, and aviation education technology is the 22nd International Annual Convention. It will take place at Hotel Sandys Tower, Bhuvneshwar in Orissa on 5th and 6th of October. And it is going to be coexisting with the United Nations World Teacher Day because we are planning to <laughs> invite Lots of people from United Nations, from the Education Fraternity and Tourism Fraternity, as well from the WTO, WTTC, World Travel Mart, ITB Berlin. So we are going to make it a mega event as far as the importance of education and skills is concerned. We extend a very warm welcome. And in a very polite way, I wish to mention there is no delegation fee. It's a complimentary participation for people from world over. Tomorrow, that's on Monday, 19th of June, 8 p.m., we will talk about the future of tourism. <clears throat> Emerging niche, new travel styles, a shift in <clears throat> expectations, what all is coming tomorrow. And then, of course, on 20th of June, we are going to take you to Northeast, all the eight states. We will talk about the new education policy 2020 of India, how basically the socioeconomic growth can take place in entire Northeast by innovative implementation of new education policy 2022, uh, that is 2020. Now, 2023, because just today is 18th, 19th, 20th, and 21st, is the International Yoga Day, Yoga for Harmony and Peace. 
We are going to have the first program in the morning on wellness tourism. And this is something very interesting I found I should share with all of you is such a beautiful slide and it is such a empowering slide that world over in wellness tourism, what exactly which country has got edge on what? This is something very interesting. Please go through, we will share with you. 21st of June is also World Music Day. We can't always choose the music life place for us, but we can choose how to dance to it. So 21st of June is also a World Music Day. We would be having a special program at five o'clock in the evening in the form of a panel discussion that how Agra tourism is getting reshaped and repackaged and how everything is moving in Agra and it's going to be the happy international yoga in the musical day. Our president from Singapore, Sri Anil Manochaji, he would be joining us and he would be delivering a special presentation, talk, vision on the International Yoga Day at 8 p.m. Like this program is going today. He's going to be with us on World, uh, you know, the Yoga Day and World Musical Day. And he's going to talk about water management for wellness and healthy living. So ladies and gentlemen, whosoever you are, Whatsoever you are, your mind, whatsoever it can conceive and it can believe it can achieve, your mental wellness, your physical wellness, your spiritual wellness, your economic wellness and global wellness is very important. This program is going live on the YouTube. If you just type at the rate ICSI India Live, you can join straightway on this webinar. So with these words, we extend a very warm welcome and a hearty welcome to Shivakas Malhotra, tourism strategist from Canada, and Professor Vivek Shankar Natarajanji, Lamar University, Texas from USA. We extend a very warm welcome to both of them. Join me in extending and inviting them. Pleasure to have you, Mr. Vikas Malhotra, this morning from Canada. It's indeed such a pleasure to have you. And, uh, you know, I always feel very happy because when I discuss with the my friends in the United Nations, I say, there are certain people, those are committed, whether it's a morning or it's a afternoon, or it's a evening, they are always with us. And one of them is Vikas Malhotra. And then, of course, I've got a professor who is doing research also, who's doing innovation also, who is creative also, who is dynamic also, who is vibrant also, and who is futuristic also. That is Professor Vivek Shankar Natarajanji joining us from Texas all the way in the United States. We extend him a very hearty welcome. Vivek ji, aaj prayer ke saath shuru kijiye, unmute kijiye apna mic ko. Aaj haath jodte hain, prayer karte hain. Hir charan, charan, charan bandhanaat kya bolte hain, usko mangla charan ke saath, aapki prayer ke saath, aaj ka karikram shuru karte hain. Om Guru Brahma, Guru Vishnu, Guru Devo, Maheshwara, Guru Sakshat, Param Brahma, Asmai Shri Guru Venma, Om Namah Shivaya, Om Namah Shivaya. Thank you. Thank you, Vivek ji, joining us. <clears throat> These words, I request uh, Shivikas Malhotra ji to kindly share, and you would be so happy to know, whatsoever I have told so far, it was not recorded. Now recording has gone into process because when you come early, so many a times it happens that whatsoever you say, that doesn't get recorded, but by the time the guests come, you come to know who they are. So ladies and gentlemen, world over, those are joining us today. Today is 18th of June, 2023. It's 10 minutes past 8 o'clock in India's time. And we have got Mr. Vikas Malhotra, the tourism strategist from Canada, and Professor Vivek Shankar Natarajan, all the way from United States, Lamar University. And we had a little prayer also today before starting the program. And uh, Vikas ji, Let's jump into the swimming pool of tourism, hospitality, and aviation. All three of us together, whether the professor knows swimming or not, but let's take a jump. Okay, let's go ahead. <laughs> thank you. Thank you very much. It's a pleasure to be back here on this platform where we can express all our views. Would really, really invite the participation of our dear audiences. audiences we are here to clarify lots of things. Shifting the gears towards the tourism and the travel industry. I wanted to continue with what we, we, we have been speaking for the last few weeks. 
So one of the um, one of the slides which you all just saw a few minutes ago was about wellness. When we talk about the wellness, a wellness is a very broad term, and tourism industry plays a huge important part of that. When we talk about wellness of yoga retreat, etc., that is geared towards physical wellness as well. But I must let you know that there is a lot of stress on mental wellness too, especially in North America. And tourism industry has a huge part to play in that. Tell me one human being who does not like to travel to any other part of the world. Tell me one human being who says, oh, I'm not even interested to see how Singapore, the Sentosa Island would look like, how the Merlion, how the light and sound show is going to look like. Everybody wants to travel. Why? Because it's in their heart. It's in the mind. I would love to go. Why would they love to go? Because they're going to experience something new. And when they will experience something new, they would be saying to themselves, wherever, even if I can go for a few days to a close by place, if you're in India, maybe within India, if you're in Europe, maybe close by, that is all playing with your mental wellness. Your mind is telling you, go, push yourself to go. I feel, I feel so good. I feel so fresh with that. I do want to touch on a couple of things to, uh, on this platform now. One of the emerging industry besides the mental wellness is the mice industry. The mice industry has taken a huge share of the travel industry. First of all, mice industry is meetings and incentives and conference part. So the corporates, whether, well, I, I should not say just the corporates, even personal trips. I've even got examples, people going to celebrate their a milestone birthdays to another place and they want to go they take the whole family over there and when they go there they want to do dinner special specifically on the beach they want to indulge into more and more things like spa they want the families to come under the same platform at the same place and that is a part of the mice industry so think about it someone someone is in india the grandmom and the granddad are in india the son is in uh, London, and the uh, siblings are in USA, just as an example. And they all said, hey, it's my 50th birthday. I would like everybody to be meeting in Italy. How about that? So people from India come to Italy, people from North America comes there, but they all meet for seven to 10 days. That is a part of the mice industry. And then they said, since we are already here together, we, we, we are going to hire a photographer to take a photo in a professional way. Over here, we would like to have a din dinner, excuse me, on the beach itself. We want to make it very special so that it's never forgotten. So, and of course, the corporates, they want to hold their meetings over there, their AGMs over there. So that that industry, that segment is coming to, uh, to, to the rise of the graph like in that. I would I would like you all to just think a little bit, take take a deep breath, think about it. Why? Why would they want that? They want it because they know life is too short. They, I'm I'm speaking specifically about the birthday to celebrate under uh, and you know how the mice industry has been evolving. They know that the life is too short. They know let's make the best of it. Let's say we've got the funds with us. We've got the resources. We are physically very good. Let's meet at a common platform. Wherever in the world you are, these days it's very easy. Now, how do you plan? You plan in a way, in the older days, there used to be big books called OAG. They used to go to a travel agency store, used to sit in front of a travel, and then started with the things like, oh, I just have to pick up the phone and I'm, I just get somebody to make an itinerary for me. Now what is happening, there are apps which has come. Look at the artificial intelligence. I, in our office, we have started using the chat GBT. Why? Because you just type in, you get a design of the itinerary, you can talk to your customers and look at the world where the shift is. It is like a concord taking place in a takeoff. Now, I would request you all to get technologically uh, up to date. I'm not going to say that become an engineer or something. All you need to do is pick up your phone and download the travel apps. Pick up your phone, see what chat GBT has to do. It is, it is very, very good. It helps you to think 
beyond what you would have thought otherwise. And then you cash up on those things and then you move forward with that. Last week, we have started discovering a very important segment of the travel industry, which we have seen that the people have really put a lot of interest, and that is hiking. That is trails, hiking. Uh, I live in the Toronto area. Around our area, there are a lot of hiking trails over here, but all of them are not accessible. How do you find it? There is an app, which is which I would like to give the name, and that app is called All Trails, one word, A-L-L, T -L -L, as in Tom, R as in Robert, A as in Apple, I as in India, L as in London, S as in Sam, All Trails. Please have a look at this app anywhere in the world you are. You can put it over there. They will talk about the trails that you can access. They will show you on a map. How, what more easy things can become for you? It's on your fingertips. It's right there. So my request is, let's let's just explore. The hospitality industry is just not about travel. It's just not about enjoying the view. It involves airlines. Look at the opportunities you will get as an employment in the airline industry. It involves the hospitality industry of the hotels, the front desk, the the, even the accounting team gets involved, the marketing, the graphics, the designers, the web, the web support team. There is a huge saga, a plethora of departments which is involved with the travel industry as well. So for sure, think about mice industry, think about the artificial intelligence and think about the beautiful world we live in. That's that's basically what I wanted to put across to my dear friends, my dear audiences, and back to you, sir. Interesting, very interesting. Something which you have set across. I would request you in the second round, Vikasji, kindly share those apps also, which sometime back you had shared with all of us and you gave us some new apps, you know, which we were using. So hiking all trails is beautiful. Prashant Kul Shreshta yes. is writing over here. India is more focused on low value mass tourism of pilgrimage, which will lead to resource depletion and chaos. Sheer number of tourists at each site has become a problem. I totally agree, Mr. Kul Shreshta. And that's why we are talking about less people, but high spending people. That would be much better because you need adequate infrastructure. And at the same time, Carrying capacity of the place is also to be taken into consideration. Anyway, we'll get on to that a little bit later. Julie, ma'am, this is a wonderful app and a one-stop solution that assembled everything. I've just opened it. She has already downloaded. Wow, that's great. That's, <laughs> people, that's very good. <laughs> people are faster than chat GPT. <laughs> I, <laughs> I love it. That's that's very good. Thank you. I will come back to you. I will come back to you, Mr. Malhotra. Let sure. me just go to Professor Vivek Shankar Natarajanji, all the way to NASA, Texas. And uh, he's, a, he's once again a great visionary. With you, Professor Saab, I would like to share and I would like to know if we are carrying out tourism research, if we are carrying out, let's take it, tourism subjects related research, different parts of tourism, how do you look at it? Because, see, one is a term you say it is a socioeconomic development, employment generation, foreign exchange earning, and a couple of other things we keep talking about. But when you use the word impact, that means you've got to take both the things, you've got to take negative also and positive also. I wish to know from you, if we have to carry out, let's take it a research. You know, your area is marketing. You are a specialist, you are a strategist for marketing. Okay, you can give us something on tourism marketing. You can give us something on research because merely participating uh, in various uh, world travel marts and international travel boards and all that, does that really generate tourism for us? What exactly travel trade private sector is looking forward to? That's number one. Secondly, how do we make our presence felt? You know, that is something very important. And thirdly, I wish to share with you, Government of India tourist offices overseas has been closed. All Ministry of Tourism, Government of India offices have been closed. 
and in the embassies and high commissions and India missions, there is a small you know, desk which has been created. How do you look at that? One is you hold an identity, you hold a you know, passion, the product and service in your own hand. So first of all, let's start from research. How do you look at it? Uh, people are interested to do a research. If I'm staying at place A, उसके आसपास के जो जगह है वहीं का रिसर्च कर लिया और उसका एक पीएचडी सबमिट कर दिया नो वेयर दैट पीएचडी गोस हु इज द पर्सन हु इज बेसिकली यू नो सुपरवाइजिंग दैट पर्टिकुलर पीएचडी व्हाट इज द कॉम्पिटेंस ऑफ दैट पर्टिकुलर पर्सन हाउ वेल दैट पर्सन इज ग्रूम्ड देयर कपल ऑफ थिंग्स यस्टरडे देयर वाज अ ब्यूटीफुल सेशन बाय प्रोफेसर पंत ऑन क्वांटम क्वांटम ग्रोथ यू नो दैट वाज समथिंग फैंटास्टिक यू आर काइंड टू जॉइन आप हमको ये बताइए कि हमको रिसर्च में मार्केटिंग में और रियल सेंस में अगर टूरिज्म का एजुकेशन सही करना है भारत में हाउ डू वी प्रोसीड हाउ डू यू लुक एट एज यू नो एज एन एक्सपर्ट ऑफ मार्केटिंग एंड एक्सपर्ट ऑफ रिसर्च एंड एज ए स्ट्रेटेजिस्ट फ्रॉम यूएसए नमस्ते गुलशन जी नमस्ते विकास जी देखिए आपने यू वॉस्ट मी अट ऑफ थिंग्स विच आई थिंक वी शुड डू इट और मल्टीपल से हमको तो मेगा सीरियल चलाना है आप तो मूवी बनाना चाहते हैं बट हम चाहते हैं कि इसको सो आई टेल यू रिसर्च के बारे में आपने बात किया देयर आर बेसिकली व्हेन यू टॉक ऑफ रिसर्च देयर टू काइंड्स ऑफ रिसर्च दैट पीपल डू वन इज द बेसिक रिसर्च व्हिच ट्राइज टू आंसर द क्वेश्चन व्हाई पीपल डू व्हाट दे डू सो अंडरलाइंग द कॉन्सेप्ट्स लाइक फिजिक्स में होता है तो दे विल ट्राई टू अंडरस्टैंड द नेचर ऑफ द वर्ल्ड इन ह्यूमैनिटीज और मार्केटिंग और सर्विसेज में वी ट्राई टू अंडरस्टैंड द फिनोमिनन ऑफ इंटरेस्ट okay we will try to explain why people are doing so in other words we can explain why people travel why people travel at certain time why, why people travel to certain locations why people come back to certain locations so we try to understand all of this in a holistic perspective that is really the focus of research in tourism and usme macro level pe you can look at data which is looking at you know you know uh, at an economic level so what drives tourism and all that and you can also look at it at a micro level ki jab log aate hain so what are some drivers of their satisfaction what are what what makes them trick and then the other research we talk about is applied research which can understand we can really do that research to understand why certain destinations stick what do we do to make our destinations work so i think the research we see in tourism spans both actually right uh, last year last um, month i was in spain i was telling you and i we, we need to talk more about that but that whole infrastructure in that region is all about tourism they kind of see 20 million tourists in like one month or something the stats are very very amazing and the multiplier effect of tourism uh, has been phenomenal in that part of spain in the last uh, 20 years they've really built it up so i think we need to do case studies like that and to see where some of those models may work in an indian context so for example uh, i think i have been reiterating this the diaspora is a, one of the biggest things that indian okay, remember that we are a nation of 1 billion plus right and um, you know even if 5% 10% starts going abroad and there is a been a lot of immigration uh, you know outbound immigration out of india the diaspora is still a big deal the only other country that has a bigger diaspora or similar size diaspora is the chinese diaspora they have the chinese have done well with the diaspora i think from from an indian standpoint engaging with the diaspora and that's what the focus of the prime minister has always been so that itself is a point of interest how can we persuade the diaspora to visit more and then within that there is already there are so what is tourism in fact i was uh, reflecting on this my uh, my colleague was informing me he says one of the arguments you make is you know if people move to a place for and uh, stay there for 24 months 24 hours to 6 months right that is the so that kind of a model we have, we need to encourage to see you know where are the people coming from i'm sure in india we are getting people now more inbound for business purpose but how was the diaspora done because the diaspora is something that is highly moneyed and they have the cultural connect we have to definitely work on that that's a topic that i was thinking the other thing is this you know uh, my friend uh, vikas ji was talking about ai the ai is now like a tool it is like a screw driver everybody will have to have it and then screw drivers will have its chat gpt will become like that 
So the question is, will it replace your job or not? That is not the question. The question is, can you make Tear GTP to make you a better person? That can it make you better? So I would argue that you know, impact of technology is like that. How is it happening? How is it impacting the the tourism folks at the bottom level? The, the service, the what we call as the frontline service employees. Those are all interesting research topics that can be carried out in India. Because I think there is this idea that uh, people are not tech savvy. But one of the things I've been seeing is the digital. I mean, I can take a parallel here. If you're looking at AI as the next wave, I, let me take financial technology or the fintech or digital finance as a, as, a, as, a, as a forerunner. The Indian bottom of the pyramid, uh, bottom of the pyramid was a term that was given by Professor C.K. Prahlad, one of the persons we both respect highly. And But his argument was, these are all people, they are not, just because they are in poverty doesn't mean they are they are not smart. They are actually very, very smart because they work very hard. They are highly focused. And so they were able to adopt leapfrog into technology ahead of other countries. In fact, I can argue, having come to India multiple times, the level of digital inclusion is so high. So next is how can you empower people who are frontline service employees with AI tools to make them become better. And I'm talking not only, you know, in specifically tourism sector. Why? Because tourism is a highly human touch based it's a human, you know, there's a level of touches of, of a higher order. And that is also important for repeat business. So how can it help productivity of the frontline service employees? The other thing is, there is a lot of, um, you know, tourism is also about uh, promoting the positive image of the country. You know, one of the things I can look at is there is a lot of talk, chatter about India in specific. And because this tourism, this, this channel is all about Indian tourism. How are we harvesting all the data to understand better, you know, the behavioral tendencies, what we call as AIO, attitude, in, you know, interests and opinions about India, especially tourism, how and how can we improve? Remember, one of the things I can argue is even though we say we are in this, we have a diverse flora and fauna, we have the Himalayas and we have the, you know, we have the Taj Mahal and all that. I think from a tourism market, how much of a dent have we made in the world space? Not a whole lot, right? I mean, we, there is a lot of scope. I mean, if the potential is X, we are probably at 0.2X or 0.3X. So these are questions. How do we improve this? So that is a, definitely a, a point of research, but uh, multiple things, frontline service employers, how do we motivate them? How can technology help them? And uh, then uh, other topics, how can our websites, how can the digital websites uh, digital presence, how can they help in, in, in better persuading people to visit and, and uh, use our tourism uh, facilities? These are all topics of interest that can be pursued in terms of research. Since you asked about research, I wanted to bring this up. The other, of course, circular economy, regional, you know, what we call as the, the sustainability in tourism. Though that's again a very important topic. And I think the you know, Indian tourism has a lot of good homegrown examples that we can showcase through research. Uh, of course, apart from that, I think there is, yeah. Thank you. Uh, we will come in the second round. What I wanted to request you before I come back to you for the second round, would you be kind enough if you can just take out the map of Spain, the place you visited, and you are relating to tourism because some of the people are writing to me, they could not get the place where you have visited. So you will be okay. in a position to, no, no, you in the second round, you give the okay. complete detail, show the map of the Spain and talk about your experience when you visited over there and how did you get it? Now, let me uh, go. Uh, okay. Yeah, please go ahead. I'm, I'm using my phone right now. I'm not able to get okay. on my computer. Okay, okay. no worries. What you can do is, like he gave for the all trails, Alpha, Lima, Lima, T, for Tango, Romeo, Alpha, like that, you give the name of that place in the second round and we will note it down and people will take out and then you talk your experience, what you felt as a tourist when you visited that particular place in the second round. Now coming and, and, back and, uh, to... Let me make you an offer. We should probably do four to five sessions on that. I have enough material because these uh, are all homegrown photos. You know what? What you can gift? What you can give to India? What yeah. you can give to India? 
that on the world when let people do yoga and meditation it's a world musical day also let me promote indian tourism that day whether with the wellness or with the music or with the entertainment or with vikas uh, mice industry why not we should do one session with you on international yoga day and uh, what do you call that uh, music uh, uh, world music day that's 21st of june we'll talk about it we'll talk thank you. thank you thank you now vikas ji when i come back to you my friend uh, prashant kulshreshta ji is talking about uh, he's telling we have been hearing since 1994 about this example that small countries receive more tourist and india has no infrastructure no research till date even by iit tm gwalior to answer why not india and how can we uh, prashant ji aapne isme mujhe bhi lapet liya hai क्योंकि दस साल मैंने उस प्रोजेक्ट पे काम किया है वॉट यू सी आई आई टी टी एम ग्वालियर वॉट यू सी आई टी एम लखनऊ वॉट यू सी केरला इंस्टीट्यूट ऑफ ट्रेवल एंड टूरिज्म स्टडीज एंड वॉट यू सी आई आई टी टी एम भुवनेश्वर आई हैव बिन डीपली एसोसिएटेड बिकॉज फ्रॉम द फोर रूम ऑफ कुतुब होटल वेन वी सेटअप एंड वी स्टार्टेड द आई आई टी टी एम फ्रॉम देयर आई हायर कमिंग फ्रॉम द आर्म फोर्सेज बैकग्राउंड the place in chanakyapuri and that was india ex services league that's a defense uh, you know the establishment area and there we started and then we went to arunachal bhavan and finally from there i moved to gwalior and that is the way so well your views are uh, well taken i respect your views for <laughs> what you are conveying over here now there are so many countries those do not have adequate infrastructure they are highly dependent on tourism i think is the human touch that also plays a very important role and today when the technology is going to play very important role your ar your vr your metaverse your chat gpt your google bard and couple of things which are coming on a way i think it's a world of not a competition world of collaboration and a networking with each other that's the way we all will try and uh, move on to something interesting what we would like to do vikas malhotra ji let's talk about your previous uh, if you can recall that ai the app which you gave last time and something else your experience because you just visited mexico also how did you feel as a canadian going all the way to mexico and experiencing that tourism and of course you visited india also it was a pleasure to have you with us in india and organizing those big uh, kind of uh, you know the talks of yours and interactions of yours please go ahead vikas ji thank you so there are four things i would i would like to address and i know because of the respect of time i'll make them short so first let me talk about those apps so the apps that i was talking about last time one app is called saber another app which i talked about is hopper those two apps which we talked about and then saber is a global distribution platform how one app how one app can actually deal with hundreds of airlines to form an itinerary that is what saber will do and hopper is the website version of these gds which can actually design an itinerary with some ideas what you could do uh, professor vivek ji was just talking about the spain i must let you know that if you are going to from usa to india spain is geographically on its way if you take the transatlantic route and now because you are on the way apps like hopper is or apps like saber is going to propose ideas why don't you stay in spain now where to stay in spain what kind of interest you have cultural barcelona is an example pilgrimage madrid and toledo is an example beaches then you've got the malaga as an example these are all spain now people will think oh i'm already going to malaga i'm not sure which place uh, professor uh, g has been there but these are the main spots in spain as well and when you think geographically you got to think beyond oh i'm already in spain i'm in the south of spain and casablanca marrakech which are all morocco is my next door neighbor I, am i really interested to see the culture those are the places also to go we are talking not even uh, two hours of a drive from the southern coast of spain 
to those things. So these apps are the ones which actually help you to enhance your thinking. Now, one more thing I wanted to uh, talk about, uh, Prashanji, thank you for asking that question. What can we do is together. So please keep in mind the word team. T is for T. Uh, T is for together. T-E-A-M. So T is for together. E is for each. A is for achieve. And M is for more. Together, each achieve more. This is the concept. I have been associated with the Indian tourism industry. Small places like, and thank you for asking that question because this is always in my heart and mind. Small places like Singapore. One more small example I'm going to give you and also coming, uh, shifting our gears towards Spain, there is an amalgamation of islands in Portugal called Azores, A-Z-O-R-E-S. There are islands, if you, if the way these Azores islands are marketing in North America, you will be amazed. There are ads, there are holdings, there are videos, there is a webinar, they do not spare anybody they try to, they reach out as huge. That is exactly what India needs to do. Just before I came to this webinar, an hour ago, I got a WhatsApp of the, the line, which I'm going to share with uh, Dr. Kulchanji as well. We are lucky to be born in India. I'm not being biased towards, well, let me say, I am being biased towards India because that's the place I grew. That's the place I was born. We are lucky to be born in India because there is so much to see. People talk about Mexico, Cancun, pyramids, the Mayan ruins, but India has more to offer. Now, why does it have to reach through a WhatsApp? It should be advertised the world, the worldwide. The, our leaders are, are trying the level best. The government is always trying the level best. And I'm, I'm going to show you the positive side, but it is, but who is instrumental in spreading the word? people of India. Welcome to India. This is what we are. This is what we do. There, it, it is like you seed a plant and the plant grows, but it takes time. So, But somebody has to sow the seed. So I think everybody has a responsibility on, on him or her. When you, are, when you want to spread the economy within India, tourism with within India. Let's not just leave it to the government. Government this, government that, government this. They are bad. They don't do enough. They have their own, own stuff. We all are responsible to spread the word as well. Uh, <clears throat> excuse me. Three months ago, I was involved in, a, in, in the analysis of the travel industry worldwide. And, and um, it was a private event. And it was, and I talked highly about India. Not that I'm boasting that I did this for India or that for India, but I, 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 I made the whole forum aware because they had no idea that India is so rich in culture, in history, and people want to see that. So, and they were, oh, they were going all over the search engines, finding all that stuff that I was saying, and they were amazed. They said, Vikas, this is absolutely not known. They said, welcome to my world. So this is what everybody needs to do is one thing. Now, <clears throat> excuse me. When um, I I went to Mexico, like <clears throat> excuse me, three times in in this year, I go for business. So Mexico, the place that I went, I would like to give you the name is called Cancun, C A N C U N. Cancun is a small city, not even 45, 50 years old, and it has done wonders in this industry. Cancun has a concept of all inclusive resorts. <clears throat> excuse me. Um, all meals, drinks are included in that. You can find this on any of the search, search engine. Cancun hotels are in the shape of number seven. One is a horizontal line. One is the vertical line. And you've got beaches over there. All meals, drinks are included. They came up with this concept that how do we attract everybody to come to us? They advertise like extremely good. They say, spend a week with us. You have swim with the dolphins. You've got water park. You've got all meals and drinks included. You've got Mayan ruins very close to us, which is history. You've got cenote. One more thing I want to talk about. I've never seen in any part of the world, uh, except over this part of the world. There is There are the wells from the ancient times. Those are called cenote. C-E-N-O-T-E. -E. <clears throat> I, 
I just want to give you all these words so that you know when like these are something of high interest. Cenotes are the wells where people actually jump in. So there are many of them. One of the best one, which is the nominated part of the world, is uh, Cenote is right next to something which is beautiful. Is called as the Ik Kill. I K K I L L. It doesn't mean to kill anybody or something, but it is just the name. And that is right next to it's the neighboring wall of one of the nominated wonders of the world called Chichen Itza, C H I C H E N I T Z A. So these are what this is what Cancun Tourism Department thought about. How can we promote? How can we attract visitors from worldwide to come to us? And they highlight all these things. Gentlemen, ladies, sisters, brothers, this our India is 10 times more in these kind of things. When, when, when I go to see all these parts, I say, India has so much more than this. India has so much more than this. I think India has a great infrastructure, but what we need to focus is to advertise, is yes. to popularize, yes. is to make them feel. Tourism yes. industry is not like, oh, Shimla Jao, you are good. Shimla mein mall, mall road hai. That's not the way. You say, Close your eyes and imagine that you are in the in the clouds on the mall on the mall road. You're still talking about the same thing, but you've got to make them feel. So those are the things I would like to say. Please have a look at Azores Islands. Please have a look at Can Cancun, Chichen Itza, Ikkil, Cenote, and of course you can find all of these things on Saber and Hopper as well. Wonderful, wonderful, Vikasji. Uh, certainly, there got to be a more visibility. There got to be more presence, and people should see those places and all that. Something very interesting. Now, before we move ahead, uh, the gentleman Prashant Kulshreshtaji, I I don't remember. I don't know whether we have met or not. But it's so interesting. Whatever he is posting on the YouTube today, it's coming next to my heart, and I'm feeling that I'm getting back to my younger days at the age of seventy. Prashanti, what you have mentioned over here, the government of India started the postgraduate program MTA in 1991 and an idea to provide knowledge and expertise to the industry. Sushil Saxanaji has also joined from Delhi Tourism. Sushil remembers that ah, when we started from the four rooms of Kutub Hotel, I still recall how the IITTM came into existence and how Mr. G. Kanjilal from the Ministry of Tourism, Government of India, as a DDG, and along with our team, I had been sitting over eight, almost we had been working 15 to 16 hours per day, going to UGC, going to IGNU, going to so many places. And then, of course, George Washington University, Calgary University of Canada, and then we had uh, Surrey University of uh, uh, Guildford, that is near next to London. And then we had a couple of other places including, uh, you know, the, the University of Purdue, that's in United States. We got the entire amalgamation and finally, with my team, I developed the MTA. Somebody calls it MTA, somebody calls it MBA tourism, somebody calls it MTM tourism. And I'm so going back to the memory lane. 1991, General Balaram was the Vice Chancellor of Kurukshetra. And that was the first university I went over there. We took two people, Professor Divedi and one more person. We trained them under Ministry of Tourism, IITTM, with the WTO, World Tourism Organization. And we started M MTA Tourism. Second was Professor Malhotra. That is the Vice Chancellor of uh, Himachal University in Shimla. Third was Naveen Makur. That's a Jodhpur University. I think now it is Jainarayan or some other name, which is that university has got. Then I went to Devi Ahilya Vishwavidyalaya. That's Indore, Professor Soda, the Vice Chancellor. Then I went to ITM Lucknow, and that is Mr. Pandey. So what I'm trying to recall, Kulshreshta ji, we have not met or we have met, I don't know. But what all you're writing over here is getting back to my memory lane. It seems that somewhere you're touching my cords. All this we had done at that point of time. And I still recall 1997, for the first time, we were gifted with the car Fiat Siena, six months on road with the Ministry of Tourism, Government of India, 
Ashok Pradhan is a DG tourism and I went length and breadth with my team organizing all India tourism quiz contest in the whole country is so much what Vikasi was mentioning is such a beautiful country. We got to package it. We got to showcase it. We got to make it others feel it is available. Professor Vivek Shankar Natarajan ji. Namaste, Kujan ji. Uh, you asked me about Spain. I think there is a lot of things we can discuss, but the location I wanted to share was as a place called Alicante. That was my place. It is in southern Spain. Spell Kijiye. A L I Ali, as in Ali, Kante, C A N T E, Ali Kante. Okay. And it's basically the Casablanca region, which our Vikasji mentioned. The ah. province name is Valencia. Okay. A L E N C I A, Valencia. Okay. This is a place that is famous where they grow a lot of oranges, olives, and uh, it has olive uh, oil making factories and uh, uh, Turon. Turon is uh, like a chocolate. So these are uh, there's so many in th things that are very famous there. And I, the cottage industry is so well developed. So I would like to talk about this in subsequent sessions because these are all part of the tourism. So, so far, for the knowledge of our friends, global friends, that Professor Sahab had gone from USA to Spain on a study tour. And yeah. that is the time on a research project. He visited this place. And we'll bring a special case study on this one of these days. Okay, please go ahead. So, no, the point is, uh, you know, with this, this whole region was, uh, you know, Spain is part of the EU, but it was not one of the, it was not one of the bigger players in EU, France and Germany, and they were all there. And so Spain uh, had to find a way to grow. And uh, this tourism was seen as a way to grow. You know, the reason it is, it is matters so much is the coast is so beautiful. And uh, because he was mentioning from, uh, you know, Casablanca uh, to Marrakesh, Morocco, it's uh, like a, it's a one overnight uh, journey by boat on the Mediterranean Sea. So the, the place, the place Alicante is very famous for gastronomy. They take a lot of pride in this thing called gastronomy, which is nothing but uh, fine dining. You know, for 400 euros also, you can, you can go and you have to make reservations and you will only have like two or four dishes. Uh, small pieces and uh, for that they would charge 400 euros because the whole issue is fine dining i mean so i think we have we have such a beautiful culinary tradition in india i think we need to elevate it to the gastronomy standards that the world requires so we talk about michelin five stars and four stars i think that is, these are all things we need to be looking at from a research standpoint what how many restaurants are there in india that match that quality what are the barriers for us to get those certifications because until you get them, you don't figure into us. You need to be in, you know, figure until you are not figuring in that list. That means some of the classier tourists may not even want to come here. So Michelin star restaurants. See, of course, but for the same token, I was also going through all the streets. There is a lot of re retirement people, expats who are moving to Spain because of the lower cost of living in Europe. And uh, so you also had these low cost cafes. That was there, but the Michelin Far star restaurants was a sight to behold. And I also went to an Indian restaurant there. In fact, run by a, what else? I mean, they're, they're a couple from, uh, who speak Punjabi and they're from Uttarakhand. And uh, so I had uh, Rajma Chawal in Spain. So okay. I was very happy and they were giving me very good insights. Okay. We'll and have a so, complete case study with you on this. One yeah. of these days, we will certainly have a complete case study. And when yeah. you're about actually, uh, uh, the Gulshanji, I went to an olive oil factory. I went to a doll making factory. I went to a wine making finery. So I think Chesat's case studies to nikal jayenge. Mere paas itna pictures bhi hai. But nahi, but is iske dora me kya batana chahta hu Gulshanji? Yes, the study abroad is a is a happening thing in U.S. universities. We yes. need to create study abroad as a part of tourism. That should be because peop, the students who come and visit a country as a part of study abroad, they take very positive images and that later on is helpful even from the standpoint of the, the students may want to come and spend more time here. They can indulge in tourist uh, tourism and commerce, business development. Is, and, it uh, now, part of, uh, is it a part of that Rotary Club like Professor Deman had come? That that was a study study abroad? Um, I'm not the sure what... Program. Yeah, huh, exchange program is a different Exchange I, program is a second level. Okay. Study abroad is 
students come for 15 days gurchanji okay. and what we do is the local people show them around wow wow and i think we should develop this in india i know because i have been to study abroad to china i have gone to europe Uh, that is Spain. There is one in Greece, UK. Sab jaga yeh sa hora hai. So I'm wow. sure, I'm sure with the the cooperation between US and India that the Prime Minister is taking, we everybody should be looking at study abroad as a way to build the relationship between people to people. Great. Today I felt so happy because Jing, one of my close friends, to whom we know each other now almost for thirty years in tourism, he told me this afternoon while he made a telephone call to me. he says i am taking online classes in ukraine and poland on tourism i said one side the war is going on so there's a war tourism i, I was just talking to him he says the government has asked me and i am taking classes over there online i said yeah fantastic that's so, very good yeah something very interesting uh, spain uh, what professor saab mentioned i wish to bring one more area before we close the session film tourism film and news tourism cinematic tourism india got uh, the complete offer from spain tourism board and that was zindagi na milegi to bara if you remember rithik roshan and those two other characters you know the that movie was made trio over there the complete movie in spain and that was three boys going on a world tour now there are three girls going on a world tour and that movie is coming priyanka chopra alia bhat and uh, katrina kaif jile zara jile zara that movie is being shot completely supported by spanish tourism uh, you know the board so that is again something very interesting ladies and gentlemen tourism 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 everywhere that's what vikas malhotra ji wanted to make a you know the plea and he told visibility got to be increased we got to bring in more visibility if by different channel professor vivek shankar natarajan ji gave such a wonderful inputs to us and when he told one word i have taken from their behavioral tendencies he used the term when we were talking about research that the human touch and positive image of the country and couple of other thing when he was talking about applied research something very interesting ladies and gentlemen people those are into research please do the research which has got a universal benefit not a local benefit you should try and have a research a subject and a topic so many more to discuss about travel tourism hospitality aviation service industry and of course its related areas i'm grateful to mr vikas malhotra the tourism strategist from canada and professor vivek shankar natarajan ji the lamar university texas which we have got in united states they both had come enriching such a wonderful engaging session there's so much to learn vikas ji i am a hungry child every week we should take on more artificial intelligence more apps and more digital technology i am sure. very very keen about it because that future and yesterday what professor pant mentioned i'm just closing the session today on that when he used the quantum readiness he told there is going to be a btech quantum engineering also coming up in a very big way world over so ladies and gentlemen world is changing everything is changing we got to keep pace with time and the visibility of indian tourism has to increase in a better way so that more and more people because i didn't want to name that and i didn't want to tell but because he made a mention of it from peru from argentina from chile from costa rica a lot of people write to me from latin america oh do you have this in india so the thing is somewhere the visibility has to penetrate we all got to go that way my deep gratitude and thanks to both my dignitaries my distinguished speakers my guest my brothers and they had come today great evening great morning great afternoon it's a green 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 and we are waiting for day after tomorrow the world yoga day and world music day and we will have world more musical